All right, I've got a lot of questions about my battery pack setup. Uh, so today I'll go over, I gotta reassemble it, um, trying to fit it inside of this tiny ammo box. Um, so <clears throat> gonna reassemble it and I uh, thought while it's apart, I show you guys uh, what I got. So this is, these are all 18650 battery cells that I've recovered uh, from various tools. Uh, used some of these M18 battery packs that you know one one or two cells might be might be bad in and I test them using this uh, Lito Kala um, battery tester and charger and pair them up as best I can with other cells with similar life uh, left and this this pack here has a BMS built directly into it it's a 40 amp output BMS it is a 24 volt battery um, and then I use this buck connector uh, to go converter sorry uh, to go from 12 volt to sorry from 24 volt into 12 volt and you can actually use these little guys to adjust um, the actual output voltage I have it set to about 14 volts uh, to run my radios etc uh, but yeah it works pretty well um, I got, uh, you know, quite a few cells in here. Like I said, I got these from uh, Milwaukee batteries. Um, also, there's some Dyson vacuum batteries in there. Uh, all sorts of different things. So you can find those batteries, and uh, it's a great way to build yourself a little kit. I'll put the link to the AliExpress where I got these got these packs. And I'm actually really impressed with um, the, not, not only the shipping, um, you know, how well they're packaged, but uh, the quality is actually pretty decent on these packs. Uh, comes with, you know, if you order three, three plates worth of uh, uh, holders, you get a proper ribbon cable, you get all the standoffs and everything that you need. Uh, this is extra. I bought this separately. Um, yeah, I think I paid about forty forty five dollars fifty dollars canadian for these plates with the bms's all all three of these ones um these ones some of them are single some of them are doubles um and then i believe i paid another fifteen dollars for this uh buck converter on aliexpress yeah and i'm actually really quite happy with all of it it's it's been um quite reliable and yeah and i've i've you know charge up these batteries i have another uh, a 24 volt charger that i use um just plug it in and once it's all assembled it charges the entire pack uh pretty well and uh yeah it works really really well for for radio and uh, doesn't provide any interference as far as i can tell and um yeah i'm, I'm really happy with it so I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to start assembling it. Uh, I'm assembling it in a different configuration. You can kind of use the standoffs in whatever way you want to, to configure it, but make sure that, um, you know, this, I'm, I'm in no way a professional, so make sure that you follow your own instructions and, uh, you know, figure out for yourself. But the way I'm doing it, uh, I make sure that um, I'm going to be putting them, you know, the same orientation because these standoffs actually become, as you can see, there's a little negative um, and there's a positive right there, but uh, these standoffs do become live. So that's actually how the boards uh, stay connected to one another. Um, and then this is the balance cable so that uh, uh, all the cells can stay balanced between them. But yeah, so here we'll go over uh, just assembly. I've already, as you can see, I've already got the cells populated in there. Um, I categorized each one of them as best I can. Again, these are all recycled cells, so they're different, uh, um, you know, different uh, life left in them. Um, but categorize them as best I could so they're all uh, similar within their within their groupings um, try to try to keep everything as even as possible there is one of these the one that has the BMS on it is the one that has the XT60 con uh, connector on it so that uh, I can connect it to this guy um, so yeah I'm gonna convert it I'm gonna connect it uh, in such a way that it's actually gonna fit in this box now this box is actually too uh, too narrow at the bottom for for the plate to go into. As you can see, it is uh, just a hair wider. So what I'm actually going to do is use uh, use these longer, or sorry, some of these standoffs to actually uh, elevate the the battery pack a bit. And I'm going to put the converter underneath it because that can sit that can sit underneath and uh, you know take up a little bit of the space underneath. And then the battery pack will sit above it. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty excited to uh, get this back together so I can get back uh, using my portable radio and uh, Yeah, so have a look So at this point um, I have the standoffs single spaced on the bottom 
because um, I'm going to be putting this guy underneath, hiding that guy underneath. It's actually going to be a little bit taller, but uh, we'll get there. Um, so this one, so this this pack uh, basically it incurs a bit of a problem. So what happens is when you put these two cells face down together, uh, this, this one set of cells ends up being upside down. Um, and now what I've done to eliminate any issues is I've actually just cut a piece of cardboard um, to kind of insulate them against one another and as well hold the cells in place and that uh, you know it clamps it down just enough uh, to be able to not have any issues with uh, cells falling out you know if it gets bumped around or uh, uh, anything like that it definitely keeps those cells positioned as they're supposed to be so we don't lose contact. Make sure those are nice and snug. Don't want to go too tight, obviously. Don't want to crush the board. Don't want to squish anything, but you definitely don't want them coming apart or being loose. Definitely, if you got a loose connection there, that'll definitely hamper the performance of the batteries. Don't want that. Uh, it also, the seller on Amazon AliExpress comes with these um, with these tiny insulators here as well. That works pretty good for. You know, trying to keep everything just a little bit tidier so you don't have the threads in the downwards position. Just a reminder, these are live, so you know if you're, you know, don't 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 do that, right? Don't do that. See that piece of cardboard in there, nice and snug. Keeps the cells all tucked away. Doesn't let them pop out. So there we go, that's all tight there. Now we're gonna go one more, making sure that we are aligning it correctly, because if you do it the other way around, you know you're gonna have a negative and a positive instead of a positive and a positive. So here we go. Got a few little screws here for the top board. My cheesy little screwdriver. I don't know why I'm using this one. Don't ask. You know why? I'm actually just being lazy. I have this screwdriver in the house. I got screwdrivers that are worth more than this whole battery pack, but it's just couldn't be bothered to go and get them, apparently. It's actually snowing here right now, so don't really want to go out to my shop. <laughs> it's working inside today. All right, so there we are. The battery is all connected now. It's going to make sure those are nice and snug. And we're going to connect the balance cable. So like I said before, it's nice and convenient that uh, it's all put together in such a way that it's going to fit just nice. Look at that. The connectors in there nicely. Bam. So this battery pack uh, like I said, so from the XT60 connector, uh, puts out 40 amps. Like, that's pretty good for this little battery management system here. But uh, 40 amps this guy puts out. And, uh, yeah, I've, I've been running a radio off this that pulls, you know, 15 amps, maybe tops, and uh, no problems at all. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's really... It's really not a bad little unit and from the price point I mean it's you know I'd, I haven't done the calculations of how many you know how many amp hours I'm getting out of this I, I've swapped the cells around a few times but you know depending on what cells you put in there um, you know it'll, it'll affect your uh, overall performance but you know with these recycled cells that range from like 1700 milliamps to 2000 milliamps um, you know I can do multiple uh, parks on the air operations and it's it's been it's been fine you know a couple of days of radio work and it's still got juice left so I haven't really played around with the uh, the life of it but I'm really really happy with the the way this works and the configuration and the serviceability of it being able to you know if it's got a dead cell can uh, you know throw them in the tester and test it out um, so yeah thank you so much for watching this uh, this is going to be probably just the end part one of the 
battery series. Uh, I'm gonna, like I said, so I'm gonna now try to get this into here, which is gonna require a little bit of finessing and uh, getting this guy centralized in there. And I also uh, might do a couple of USBs um, in there so I can charge a couple of devices. I got this 12 volt DC to DC, um, 12 volt to the 5 volt USB. So I might use those in there as well. We'll see what fits, what doesn't. Ooh. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll, uh, we'll see you next time.